science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, Steam Dads. Hey, it's Drew. This is Brian. And we're the Steam Dads. Welcome back to the Steam Dad Lab. What are we doing today? We are doing a test of acid and base. Okay. Do you know what that is? No, I just know it's all about the base. <laughs> oh boy, you had to go there. Didn't <laughs> I did you? have to go there. I'm not singing for you. No. So no, an acid no. is something you may think of acid and think of something that's going to really hurt you, and it can. Lots of acids will burn you. Sure. But sure. there's acids in your house, and one of them is vinegar. So vinegar is an acid. Okay. And then you have other stuff. The opposite of an acid is a base. A base. Okay. So you have acids, and you have the complete opposite, which is a base, which all is right. the reverse of an acid. Hmm. All and right. then in the middle is called neutral. Okay. So our bodies are typically neutral at seven, and it's called pH. They measure they measure your pH levels from zero to fourteen, and we're in the middle at seven. The, the human body is typically at seven pH, which is balanced in the middle. You don't want to be too acidic. You don't want to be too base. Okay. So that so, I'm not gonna make the same joke twice. <laughs> oh, good, because I was worried for a second. Okay. <laughs> so here I made something which is it looks really cool. That is like the color is awesome. That is a great color. So this, believe it or not is red cabbage that was boiled on the stove and then I drained the cabbage out and this is what was left. And the tannins, they call them, in the cabbage mm -hmm. act as a pH indicator. Oh. So these will react with different levels of base and acid and turn different colors based on that from very yellow and to green all the way to red. The acids are going to be red and the bases are going to be green. Uh, and you were telling me that this smells awesome. Can I take a whiff of it? You can smell it. Right. I think it smells disgusting. Oh. You're right. You're right. Oh, that's gross. Never listen. <laughs> so the point today is, let's see which one of these is more acidic, which one's more base, and I'm hoping to get a nice, colorful arrangement here in these beakers. Great. And and we have our gloves on today, although only a few of these things we need to have gloves on for. Like, we don't need gloves for tea, and we don't need gloves for tonic water or baking soda, but there are items over here like ammonia and bleach. bleach. Now, all these items here, of course you got to get your parents' permission, and you should have a parent actually with you working on these if you're going to try any of these little experiments. Just check, check it out. Never, ever, ever mix bleach and ammonia. It can create a really toxic fume, which can actually hurt you or even kill you. Yes. So these two never, ever get mixed together. And you don't want to touch bleach, which is why we're in the gloves. Yep, we gloved up today. So that's important. And we're going to show you one by one which colors each of these change to to see which one's more acidic and which one's more base. Okay, and so this is the color it should be? The this neutral? is the, neut the neutrals are blue, okay, typically. Neutrals are blue. This is the okay. cabbage, which, we, you know, it's purple, okay. which seems to me to be more to the acidic side because the reds yeah. and the purples tend to be more acidic. Okay, but that's so, probably just the color of the cabbage. The cabbage is purple, yeah. Okay. It was darker when I made it a few days ago, so it's lightened up, so hopefully it still works. So all let's right. get these all set up. We'll do one at a time. Sure, that all sounds right. good. But this is the this the, the tonic water with quinine. quinine. Yes. Well, a cool thing about quinine. Quinine. Okay. Tonic water with, that has, has that quinine in it. If it has quinine in it, and you have a black light, this will glow in the black light. That's cool. So we're gonna try that another time. This is the bleach. It always smells clean, but you know, be careful with this one because this one I don't want to get on my skin. Which is why I have the gloves on. And this next one's gonna stink too. Yeah. Um, now it's bleach and ammonia, not to mix. Do not mix these two. Okay. So the first one we have here is the vinegar and the cabbage solution, which is the pH indicator. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Oh, and you can see it turned a pinkish color. So that's a very acidic one. The redder it is, the pinker it is, it's, a, it's a more acidic. Next we have the hydrogen peroxide. So let's add a little bit of the indicator to this. And didn't really change. It's, it looks different than the vinegar. It's a little more purple. It kind of looks like a diluted version of this. Next, we have tea. So I didn't try this one before. I'm not sure what's going to go, what color it is, if it's acidic, if it's base. Let's find out. Mm, there's, so far, they're all very red and purple. Nothing's changed color. Next, we have the tonic water with the quinine in it. None of them. <laughs> They're all still the same color. Next, we have some baking soda. 
be blue. Ooh, that one did something. Definitely blue. Here we have a little bit of bleach. And I'm hoping this one will be a different color than these. It should start being towards the green and yellow side. Oh, there we go. So you can see that one turned yellow. And the last one is the ammonia. We get some of the colors. Green, possibly? Here we have some ammonia. And these two, these stink. Hey! And there is the green. So it went from purple to green, because that is very, very, very... These two are very base, and the opposite end is very acidic. So Brian, that was really cool. I was looking from behind the camera as you were putting in all the different liquids and then you were putting in the indicator and seeing the colors change. Some of them were very dramatic. And I thought that was really interesting to see. Yeah, and you can see here how we have the reds and these are a lot close. They must be really close. pH values is what they call them. So these are really close, and except for this one, the peroxide here. Right, you know, we, we let that sit for a while. It actually turned clear. It uh, did. Not clear, but like mm, kind of a... It, a lot it, it less lost purple. Color. It was, it was purple. almost white. But you can see, so from the acidic, like I said earlier, yep. and then the base ones was the opposite, should be green and yellow. Sure. And that's why we have the ammonia here, which is green, and then the bleach is more of a clear color, but it went from you know a clear bleach, I poured purple indicator in there, and, and it stayed that yellowy color. And we have the baking soda here that is blue. Right. So obviously you can see as it goes up the scale from base all the way up to the acidic. I don't have quite the... The full range. The full range of colors I wanted. No oranges here and that. There's different different solutions. We tried ones that I hadn't tried before. So it still came out pretty cool. And you can see, I mean, it looks really cool. I thought it was really fun. So there, it's interesting all the different things that you can do with, uh, you know, you can you can try different things. Like if we tried, say, Sprite or something because that was different, that'd be different than tonic water. What would happen there? Or if we did like wine. Or exactly. Like and then like you, could, you could test... Which ones are more acidic, which ones are more base. And it's the same thing using your pool when you stick those little strips in your pool. If you have a pool at home and your parents test the pH level of the pool, they usually want a certain number in there. And they take these strips, they dip them in, and it will change color. It's similar to this. And well, I just did it with cabbage. And maybe because the cabbage sat a little bit longer, maybe it, it didn't, it's not as strong anymore. But, it, I mean, it definitely reacted with the ammonia. I can't imagine the smell being and stronger. And this stinks. <laughs> it really stinks in this room right now. No, and these two should not be near each other. Yeah, really, from they, should, they should really be far away from each other, not not close. Don't want those to possibly mix ammonia and bleach. Don't ever do it. So I hope you learned a little bit today and, and enjoyed our fun experiment here, a demonstration of acid and base. And if you want to see more of the Steam Dads, you can always find us at Twitter or Instagram or Facebook as at Steam Dads. So just type in at Steam Dads, you'll find us. And yeah, I'd like to thank you for visiting the Steam Dads Lab. Don't forget to subscribe. Absolutely. We'll see you next time in the Steam Dads Labs. Well, Brian, that was really cool. I was standing behind the camera and watching you put in all of the different... Uh... <laughs> Little cabbage juice shows you different levels of acidity. Yeah. Or base. They said cabbage is good for you. Should we just have, I'm not have drinking a of that. <laughs> you can drink. You want Don't some? drink any of the liquids. <laughs> so hopefully this works. Because if it doesn't, I'll be upset. Not getting anything. Maybe they. Maybe this sat too long. Here's the peroxide. Peroxide. Okay. We had fun with that last week. Oh yes, the foam was fun. <laughs> Liner insertion. Oh, dungeon insertion will do it too. Because you can paint the, the walls with it. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs>